Good evening, guys. Happy Wednesday. How are you? Doing great, miss. Today. Nice. Good to see you, Jose. Hey, you are liking your... Is that like your patio? Like your garden? Yes. That's really yes. nice. You get the weather. <laughs> yes, I love to, to stay out. That's really cool that you can have that space. <laughs> that cool. Nice. All right. Hi, Vladimir. Hi, Mayra. Who's texting at this time? Really? Hi, Carla. How are you? Hi. Hi, Vladimir. It says, Carla, hello. I'm still working. Okay. Okay, Carla. No worries. Hi, Emerson. How are you? Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Mayra. How are you? I'm fine. Nice. Are you I'm ready? ready? Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. Today we're going to begin. Um, what is it today? Today's Wednesday, right? So listen, guys, today it's like our Friday. Remember, we finished the, the unit on Wednesdays. So today is Wednesday in the week, but for us in the unit, it's like a Friday, right? So last night we were saying that, wait a minute. Last night we were saying that we were going to complete the homeworks from week number two, right? If you remember. So we did the homeworks for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So now we're gonna do the last two homeworks together so you can see the answers, okay? Okay, this is for section number two. For unit two logistics, for the homeworks, Tonight we're checking the ones that we missed yesterday, okay? So we have, we were planning to do homework 2.11 and 2.12 if I'm not mistaken. All right, so for homework 2.11, I'm gonna show you guys the answers. So please, if you have not completed your homeworks from week two, literally you have the answers here. <laughs> So take a picture, take a screenshot, or write the answers if you if you need, right? So we have for number one, again, homework 2.11. For number one, the correct answer is warehouse and purchasing. Okay. Then for number two, we have production planning. For number three, we have customer service and support. And then for the next section, they are financially stable, yes. Number two, also, yes, they have great references. And then it says number two, but it should be number three. They have a disaster recovery plan, no. Number four, they offer cross-docking capability, no, right? And number five, they offer freight forwarding services? Yes. Okay. So just for you to take a picture or take it as, take a screen or just write down the answer, right? Just make sure that you complete that homework. And then we're moving to the last one wait, for this week, uh, for the second unit. Last homework for the second unit is 2.14, okay? So again, I'm gonna show you guys the answers only because I want I want to make this as easy as possible for you all. Okay. So we have the first one here. Okay. They offer cross docking capability. That would be number one, homework two point fourteen. Again, if you have not completed this, this is your moment. Number two, they have experience in the countries in which you do business. Number three, they have lead leadership in energy and environmental certification. Okay. Number four, they have great reference. And number five, they are financially stable. And then for the next section, it says undoubtedly, number one, undoubtedly, number two, be convinced of. 
be convinced of. Number three, swear. I swear, right? And then abuser. Number four, take anything for granted. Take anything for granted. Number five, suspicion. Number five, suspicion. All right. So those are the answers for the last homeworks from Wednesday and Thursday. No, Thursday and Friday, which correspond to yesterday and today. Okay, so with this, you will be completing unit number two. Now, when you go back, you will see that there is also, in section two, there is also a mid-term exam. Okay, so you are supposed to be taking also a mid-term exam here. This one has four different sections. Okay, has, has everyone completed the mid-term exam? Has everyone completed it? Yet. Not yet? Okay, we're gonna check it anyway. We can see it if you have done it or not. Just so you can see. Okay, so now we're focusing on midterm. You see this where it says midterm? I can see if you already took the exam or not and what was your score. For example, Carlos Vladimir already got this midterm and he got 100. Cesar is pending the midterm, Dairo is pending, Eduardo also pending, Emerson pending. Oh my God, all my students are pending the midterm exam. <laughs> oh well, except Jose Carlos Argueta, he's not. <laughs> he's not pending, yeah. he already completed. <laughs> and then Kenny and Mauricio and Nelly, everybody else is pending to do the midterm exam and Sunday. Everyone is paying this. <laughs> okay, but don't worry. We will complete it tonight. Okay, we will complete the exam tonight. I will help you to, with it so that I don't want to hear anyone saying, I didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> okay, so I will help you at the end of the class. We're going to leave a few minutes. Maybe like the last 10 minutes of the class, we can complete the midterm exam together, all of us, right? So be ready for that. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to have a review for this week that we are finishing today. Today, we're finishing unit number two, all right? So we're going to review some of the concepts that we learned in this unit, unit two. Okay. Can you see this, the Kahoot screen? Pueden ver la pantalla de Kahoot? Yes, I can see. Okay, so let's get ready to get in. You can go to Kahoot, www.kahoot.it, enter your game pin. Coach. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, and while the other people join to the activity, I would like to ask you uh, something about my expression and I listen in a video. Okay. Is I don't know, to, to it open. Yeah, write it down. Oh, that's not it. One moment. I would like to, to know what is the, the right way to use this expression and also word where, where the, did the, you write it? And and the the right pronunciation. Oh took it up took it upon themselves to like me. Took it upon themselves. Mm -hmm. took, took it, it upon. upon. Took it upon. Took it upon. Mm -hmm. bueno, okay. That's the pronunciation. Took it upon. But for example, <clears throat> I understand that that word is using when you say that you will do something that the other people don't don't say that you do or not. To take upon something means that you're going to take over. Like for example. She was supposed to do it, but she didn't. So I, I'm going to take it upon to myself to do it, right? When somebody is supposed to do something and they don't do it, you take upon yourself to do it, okay? Es como tomar, tomar las riendas, right? Llevar la delantera o agarrar, llevar la batita, right? To, uh, mm -hmm, like that. For example, I can use with, with example in an expression, but in, when the I will 
to it upon the to do this or something like that. Yes, I will take it upon myself to teach you guys English. Perfect English, right? <laughs> like that. I will take, take it, it up. Mm -hmm. Take it upon. Take it upon. Uh -huh. And then the subject, it can always change, and the verb also can. Encargarse de, right? Mm -hmm. Y es con M o con, con N, está bien escrito. Sí, así es, con N, así como lo puse, take it upon. Take it upon myself, yo me voy a hacer cargo de. You have to take it upon yourself, usted mismo se tiene que hacer cargo de, right? The take subject, upon... mm -hmm. the subject can, can vary. The... Okay, we can shave the, the, the themselves for, to, for example, to it upon. Mm. You can change it to myself, yourself, uh, to you herself. Myself mm -hmm. to to teach English the other people in your case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The teacher. Uh -huh. This took porque está en pasado, pero en uh, take, take it, it upon. Upon. Mm -hmm. Take it upon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's going to take, take it, it upon it. himself to upon. do the homework for everyone, right? Take it upon. Mm -hmm. right? Take it upon. Yeah. Take, take it upon. upon. Okay. Very good question. Okay. So we have seven people connected to the game. We're waiting for the others. We have 13 people connected. So I expect at least 10 people connected in the game. Okay. We're going to give two more minutes so we can begin. Let's get ready. People, I'm gonna send it to the group. I hope that I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, we're waiting for you guys to connect. We have only seven people, we need 10 people connected, minimum 10. And this is not going to be, it's raining. Well, it wants to rain, but it's not raining. <laughs> okay, this review is not going to be a grammar review, right? We have been doing grammar reviews tonight. Mm -mm. Tonight, it's the topic review. We're going to review the topics and the concepts that we have been seeing in the last two weeks, all right? Which are, which are finishing tonight. We're finishing the two weeks tonight. Tomorrow we begin the third week out of the five. Okay. So we have nine people connected. We're waiting for, well, I guess we can begin with nine. All right. Ready or not, pay attention. Read carefully because this is a long concept. Direct channel. Select which option is direct channel. Yay, only one person forgot. <laughs> Direct channel is literally from producer to consumer, right? No other intermediate. There are no third parties, nothing else involved. That is correct. Okay. Let's go to the scoreboard. And we have Kenya. I think Kenya was in the first place last night also. Very good, Kenya. Two days in a row. <laughs> okay, number two. Retail channel. Which one is retail channel?
All right, everyone got it correct. Retail channel is when the retailer is in the middle of the producer and the consumer, right? That's it. Corporate packing. And we have Cesar in the second place, Avi in the third place. Mayra on fourth and Juan Carlos in the fifth. Let's go with question number three. Wholesale channel. Okay, yes. Producer, wholesaler, retailer, then consumer. That's when you select wholesale channel, right? We're giving Kenny in the first place, is there in second, and Abby in third. And Juan Carlos and Maida, they switch place <laughs> from fourth to fifth. Okay. A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area, such as distribution logistics. All right, one person went the wrong way and the other were correct, consultant, right? The professional who provides expert advice is the consultant. And then for this one, Juan Carlos coming from the fourth place to the second place, very good. I'll be keeping in the third. Now we got a check, a person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. All right, so we have one person selected the wrong one. Everybody else got it right. Retailer, right? That's the key for retailers. They sell small quantities. So Kenya keeping in the second and the first. Abby keeping the third place. Nobody moved her from there. <laughs> and then we're going up to the second place. Let's go with question number six. An agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. Let's see. Distributor and four people said all better. Yes, the distributor would be the agent in this case. Let's go with the scoreboard and Maida coming to the third place. Edward keeping the second and Kenny on the first. Let's go with seven. An intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Yes, that would be the whole color. They buy in bulk and they resell to the small sellers, right? Moving forward in the podium comes Mauricio on the fifth place. And then for the last question, you take orders over a phone number or website that you provide on the mail piece. 
or you can have customers mail order requests. Okay. We're missing some answers here. <laughs> Only two people got it correct. <laughs> okay, pay attention to this. You take orders over a phone number or website that you provide on the mail. Okay, this information is on the mail piece. Or you can have customers mail order your requests. So that would be option catalogs and direct mail, right? That was the correct one. So for this last question, for this last podium, let's see. Can you keep it in the third place? Jose Carlos in the second place. In the first place goes to Edward. Nice job, Edward. <laughs> Runners, Mayra and Mauricio in the fourth and the fifth place. Okay, so that's two. All right, that's really nice, guys. Good job. <laughs> I see that you remember most of the concepts. That's really nice. Okay, so listen. I am going to send a link to you in WhatsApp, right, to the group in WhatsApp. But this link is for a video. This is for a video that is about Amazon, right? Amazon, how they receive your inventory. What we are going to do in this case, because I don't want to be, what is it? Copyrighted by YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to be struck by copyrights by YouTube. What we are going to do is that I'm going to send this link for the video here in WhatsApp to the group. And you will watch it in the breakout room. So you're going to get in breakout rooms and you're gonna watch it there, okay? Please don't watch anything else, just watch that video in the breakout rooms, okay? And then when you finish, I will give you guys, the video is like five minutes. So I will give you 10 minutes in the, in the room. So you watch the video in the room, you discuss the video and prepare your comment, okay? So when we return to the uh, session, when we come back, every group, every room is going to give me your summary, your opinions, your comments, okay? I will take enough comments because you will have uh, 10 minutes to prepare them, okay? So again, the link is already in WhatsApp. The rooms are open. You will have 10 minutes to watch the video and to prepare your comments about it. Summary, what you think, what called your attention, what you find interesting, etc. Okay. Pueden entrar a la sala, vean el video que les mandé en WhatsApp. Lo discuten y preparan sus comentarios. Cuando regresemos, nos, nos lo comparten, okay? You're gonna share them. Vamos ingresando a las salas, por favor. Hasta que ya estén todos, empiezan a ver el video, ¿de acuerdo? Así que espérense unos minutitos para que entren todos. Let's go into the room, please.
Hi, Nelly. Hello. I just Hi. saw that you are by yourself here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so don't worry because I don't know why Kenya didn't connect. Um, but if you can watch the video on your cell phone, don't that's perfect. Um and try to create your comments or write something about it, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, do you have your comments ready? Or do you need more time to prepare your comments? In group number four, we had it ready. Okay, you have it ready, nice. What about the other groups? Are you ready with your comments? Yes, miss. Perfect, yeah. Mm, more or less. Diligent <laughs> people. <laughs> we like diligence. 
Spirit. 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 <laughs> okay, before we start listening to your comments, while you finish getting ready, I'm going to take attendance, all right? So please be ready to stay here or just press, okay? So Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez, Dairo Jonathan Fuentes, Eduardo Antonio Magaña. This is me. Thank you. Let me present teacher. Okay, let me thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present me. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and listen to your comments and summaries about the video. We're going to begin listening to room number two. We have Eduardo Magaña, Jorge Antonio, and Mauricio Vela. Go ahead, guys. Hey. Eduardo. Start, please. Then second one. <clears throat> In my case, uh, it was really interesting about the system, about the logistics that the Amazon has, because you need to be very carefully when you receive a pay product, because Amazon is a business that only is a house a reseller because the the Amazon uh, doesn't have a manufacturer, a factor manufacturer because they only receive a product and try to look, uh, try to sell the product and try to deliver the product. And in the system about the rank up is really interesting too because it's a really great to be so fast and make the delivery in the same way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Mm -hmm. What it say, my partner? Mm -hmm. Amazon has a product shipment logistic. Mm -hmm. It is sure what the customer will receive, what they order. They also have a goal transport system. Do it to hand delivery of a case that the product is the package. Amazon does take good care of the client. Product mm -hmm. of transport it very fully. Okay. All One right. Day. Those are good comments regarding what you were just watched in the video. Very accurate on point. Thank you guys. Very good. Now okay. we're gonna listen to room number three. In room number three, we have mm, well, it was just you and Ellie, right? If you don't have any comments yet, don't worry, Nelly, okay? Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna check room number four. All okay? right. We have Abigail, Jose Romero, and Mayra Pink. Let me hear your comments, please. Mayra, can you start? Okay. Well, um we see the video um in personal. I, I, when 
the part of caught me attention to the video is that employees know the location of each article in the warehouse. It's very interesting because Amazon don't buy one or two products. They buy in bulk. And it's very interesting that employees know the ubication and and that part facilitate the, um, the delivery to the customer in fast time. That has been very interesting for us. Nice. All right. Okay. So teacher, in my case, the first thing that called my attention was that when I was listening the the video. I remember that we're almost the same that we were reading yesterday, right? I find yeah. a mm -hmm. lot of similar, or maybe yeah. it's the same. It was, it's <laughs> so, related. I will tell you the difference in a moment, but yeah, it was related. Okay. So another thing that calls to my attention is that Amazon is a reseller, right? So they put, they make sure that all the product has a barcode and all the pros were ordered in in different stage to keep safety and be ready for for to send to the customer without trouble to find the, the product. That's what I understood in the in the video that I saw. All right, that's a good summary, guys. Very good comments and observations. Give me just one moment. Okay. I gotta close the door. Okay. finally decided to rain in San Salvador. It only took 84 years for the rain to come. <laughs> but all right, we're ready. <laughs> so let's hear the comments now from room number five. We have Jose Bernardo and Juan Carlos, please. Uh, okay, missing my my case. I noticed that they have a lot of process uh, to receive a product, and one of them is that they have um very detailed with the package inside. If they are not protect, they they protect it to avoid damage. But that that means that your product is gonna be uh, delayed in the time you will receive it uh, later than you expect. Mm -hmm. So they they send you a notification that the package is in revision. Exactly, they let you know what's the status, right? Depending if it's gonna be on time, if there's a delay, what's going on with it. They let you know because they know what's happening inside. All right, what about you, Juan Carlos? Okay, teacher, uh, in my case, um, I understood that in the video talking about uh, Amazon uh, has a fulfillment center and they uh, verify the, the, the old products uh, 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 don't don't uh, damage uh, mm -hmm. that before, are not that is not damage uh, that is not damage uh, mm -hmm. before uh, before to delivery the customer mm -hmm. and they for example um, uh, uh, they uh, Verify uh, the package, and for example, so for, for example, the package uh, don't uh, is not appropriate for the product. Uh, they uh, solution that problem. Uh, for example, they they use uh, the other other materials uh, uh, to uh, to avoid the, the product the damage. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the uh, 
if they come the, the, the product or receive the, pro, uh, the, the product in, in one package mm -hmm. and it may be uh, two or three packages and they join in, in one, one package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then they uh, ensure that the the the, the, the label uh, um, the, the label the, the lab, level um, uh, it's match with the destination for example all right very good nice comments nice summary also thank you for saying okay. Carlos Roger. and now we're gonna listen the comments from room number six Room number six, we have Cesar, Emerson, and Wendy. Go ahead, guys. Okay, teacher. Um, the video talk about the all logistic process to the Amazon with the different product, and it's interesting. Uh, interesting how uh, Amazon can have the control of uh, my miles product um with the uh, um this uh, uh with the scan the barcode and with this uh um with this uh Raminda, uh, with this two what two two okay with this two uh they can have the control the to the package and the product because uh one package can has uh more than one product and that it's so interesting how they can have all that control in his in its inventory and the quality uh, it's so important in they has um Pro a uh, problem area to solve uh, some uh, or some uh, problem that may arise uh, in all this process and that is for me. All right. Anyone else from the group? What? What I found interesting is a way uh, in which problems are resolved. Uh, I say um, they have a department in charge of this. They create a label to the product that no him gap. And other things uh, take my attention is the um the waste of the, they have to the, oh, there is a, 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 a specific control, quality control, because the, they release or uh, check everyone to the boxes back in others package. Mm -hmm. That's so right, very good. All right. Thanks for your comment, Cesar. I am like very good. Okay. Be sure. Uh-huh. I have Amazon um provide the best experience uh for customer. Uh -huh. Uh everything as possible the allons um to process millions, millions. 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 Uh huh. Um, 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 this in this in life or fulfilling main center associates. Exactly. That's right. Uh -huh. Very good comments. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Okay. So listen, this is similar as Jose was mentioning, right? This is similar to what we were reading last night, but there is a, it's similar, but it's not the same. Let me explain you why. Last night, we were talking about how Amazon works for their products. The system is very similar, but there's a difference. Amazon, they sell their own products 
they buy them from the producers or they buy them from the manufacturers and they resell them on Amazon, right? But Amazon is not the only seller. In their company, they also, you can be a seller, Cesar can be a seller, Jose can be a seller, I can be a seller in Amazon. So Amazon is like a market and we all can be sellers and we can sell there. The video that you watch is the process that Amazon uses that is called a fulfillment center. It's what we call a third party logistics. When I, an example, I am the seller and I want to buy products from China, for example, right? And I want to sell my products online, but I don't want to create a web page. I don't want to create the logistics process. I don't want to do all the work. So I can buy the products from China and I can pay the service for third-party logistics to Amazon and have the products from China sent to Amazon warehouse, to the fulfillment center, and I pay Amazon an extra price and they do all the extra work. They have the web page already. They have the application, the market already. They have the customers already. They have the logistics process. They have the delivery process. They have the quality checking process. So it's my option, right? I can do that all by myself or I can pay to Amazon for them to do it for me. I The only thing I'm going to do is buy the product from China send it to the Amazon warehouse, of course, pay Amazon and they will take care of everything. And I am still selling, right? I get a commission of those sales. So that is what in logistics is called third party logistics, okay? And we are actually going to read a little bit about that topic, okay? What are the advantages or disadvantages, right? From using third party logistics. This is also called outsourcing. Outsourcing is when you give the job, your job, to somebody else to do it for you, right? In this case, we're gonna check what are the 10 reasons to outsource to third-party logistics, okay? So let's check. I need one person to read the introduction. We need one volunteer to read the introduction. There are 10 steps in 10 reasons, so every person can have a chance to read. Right now, we're going to begin just with the introduction, okay? Okay, Mauricio, please. Okay. Uh, the, the, pop the popularity of the field body logistics provider. I'm sorry, this went crazy. <laughs> Just a moment. I was trying to zoom in. Just a minute. Okay. Give me just a second. And I'm gonna make the letters a little bit bigger for you. Okay, there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please read. The, po the popularity of fear party, logistic, Provider. Uh, provider? Uh, provider. Provider. Uh -huh. uh, PPL uh -huh. is growing. Currently, and 3PLS are uh, nearing uh, uh, 150. 150 billion uh -huh. business in the U.S. and are utilized. Utilized. Utilized a pro market, but vertical. Vertical. The big, the big three Detroit out the market use more than thirty and TPL provider alone, and business is growing in. 22% of people are in pricing use. Mm -hmm. The ground isn't a surprise to those in the industry, according to our own strong and associate. associate. And a leader is supply chain maker research and consulting the ground. is drive by 
globalization. I need for supply chain information technology solution and company who are chosen to focus on their core competency. We know what he and other relationships have associated a fine impression in fact a 3 PLS offer. The ability design is, is execute and improve logistics networks through the development of process, technology, and people. People, teacher, correct. Teacher, yep. teacher, what do you mean 3 PLS? 3 PLS means third party logistics. It, Third party ah, 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 ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. you. Or you can only say three PLs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to read why should you consider outsourcing a third party logistics. So we have 10 reasons. Every person is going to read one. So you have one chance, right? So raise your hands, please, if you want to read. And I'm going to assign the number to you. Okay. We have 10 chances here. Jorge, help us with the first number one, please. Okay. Um, let's see. We need more volunteers to read. Mayra, help us with number two. Streamline, please. So Jorge, number one. Mayra, number two. Cesar, number three. Please. Okay. Wendy, can you help us to read number four? Wendy, can you read number four, please, when we tell you? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Number five, can you help us, Emerson, with number five? Okay, miss. Thank you. Jonathan, can you help us with number six? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, let me just check. Um, Juan Carlos, can you help us with number seven and number eight, please, because they are short. Okay, thank you. And let's see, we have one more for number nine and number 10. Eduardo, can you help us reading number nine and number 10, please? Yes, of course. Okay, let's go ahead. Hard to begin. Oh, this one. Okay, number one, save time and money. Working, working with 3PL enables lower risk and higher returns by eliminating the need to invest in warehouse space, technology, and transportation. Not only can you meet requires with fewer assessed, 3PLS can take tasks like order management, manage, management, billing, and saving of your hands so you can focus on more profitable core companies, competitive competencies 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 by integrating your strength with those of the 3PL you can both efficiency and profitability mm -hmm. in this case profitable profitability okay that's the pronunciation profitable and profitability so that's the first reason why you should consider a third party logistics right paying somebody, someone else to do the work for you. They've all the work related to the business, right? Because it saves you time and it saves you money, right? They can do the management, they can do the billing, charging the customers and stuffing up, right? So in that sense, it's going to save you time, most importantly, and also money, right? That's the first reason. We all care about money. <laughs> Number two, let's read the second reason. Okay, a streamline operation, drought vision, and continued optimization. When choosing TPL service, it's vital to find one that has a strong vision and dedication to improving productivity, saving money, and transforming processes. Throughout their continuous supply chain consulting and optimization, 
you will be able to establish and measure K performance indicator, KPIs, eliminate inefficiencies, and strengthen to strengthen the supply chain. TPLs driving in innovation can also help you develop reasonable short and long term objectives and provide an effective change management and employee training program. All right. Pronunciation in here, we have vital. 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 And this one, inefficiency. Inefficiency. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So a streamlined operations, supervision, and continued optimization. Basically, the second reason why you would want to use a third-party logistics would be so that you can have everything aligned, right? Key performance of indicators or KPIs, it's what you use to set a standard, right? You need to set a standard for your company, so you need to establish key performance indicators. Not only establish, you also need to measure them. You have to evaluate them, right? If there are any inefficiencies or things that are not matching your standard, it has to be eliminated. So in that sense, the third party logistics can do that for you because they have the equipment to do it, right? And if it were if you didn't use them, if you don't want to use a third party logistics, you will have to do all of these by yourself. You have to create the key performance, you have to test the key performance indicators to see if they are right or if you need to change them. So it's a lot of work. It's doable, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's go with number three. Being a powerful network of resources, efficiency drives solvency for a 3PLs. So they're constantly developing relationship and process that is speed service and lower overhead. As a partner, you're able to benefit from this resource with will otherwise be enabled in house or cost prohibitive to develop. Thank you. So when we're talking about resources, if you are looking for resources by yourself, you're gonna have to do a lot of research, right? However, if you pay a third party logistics, they already have the resources, right? And the network to provide the resources. So you don't have to be looking, right, to do the things. You already have the benefit there because you will be a partner in the third party logistics, okay? So that's it, you can meet more people, right? You can meet more customers that work with them that probably will also help you grow your business. So there is a network of possibilities. That's the third reason why you would consider hiring third party logistics. Let's go with number four. <clears throat> a chance every woman is towards a ship for a TPS, environmentally friendly initiative are good for the planet and the pop and the bottom line optim optim optimizing distribution network, consolidating roads, forcing emission, reducing technology, and training driver in for efficient behaviors are just a few ways to PLs at as a stewards of the environment at a partner to I can promote their every environmental stewardship up to wrong. All right. We're going to check pronunciation, Wendy. I want you to repeat after me. Environmentally. Environmentally. Mm -hmm. And then okay. optimizing. Optimizing. Purchasing. Purchasing. Mm -hmm. Behaviors. Behaviors. Mm -hmm. Stewards. Stewards. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a oh, Why? Steward. Why? Steward. Mm -hmm. Why? Environmental 
stewardship. Emba environmental stewardship. All right, very good. So, okay. enhanced environmental stewardship is the fourth reason to hire a 3PL. What is environmental stewardship? Enhanced. Let's begin with this for vocabulary. Enhance is the same thing as improve. Exactly the same. Enhance okay, is to increase. Aumentar o mejorar, right? Enhance. Then stewardship, it's literally administration, management. Okay? Stewardship is administration, management, misma cosa. Administración, stewardship, right? So you are improving your environmental administration, right? Every good company or big company at least nowadays has to do gear, green things, right? Or good things for the plant. What kind of green things are you? Are you recycling? Are you creating campaigns for the planet? Are you helping, right? What are you? What is your company doing? So if you don't have a person in charge of the environmental campaign in your company, you can hire a 3PL and they will provide it to you. They will do that for you, okay? Let's go with number five, please. Give me superior technology. Seasonal fluid, no, sorry. Uh, the rate at the which technology is in, involving make, make it change challenge to assist and implement the most effective option. Partnering with the uh, 3PL gives you access to updated technologies as well as building in system maintains without the internal capital invest investment. Capital investment, yeah. Okay, so gain access to superior technology would be number five right your fifth reason to hire a 3pl and this talks about listen technology in a company is very expensive <laughs> if you're an entrepreneur you're going to be waste not wasting investing money on the products on the delivery on the services on everything right but in this case you don't have to spend money on updating technology or having the up-to-date technology because they they have it. They are going to provide it to you, right? They are not going to give you old systems. They're going to give you the newest systems that, can, that they can get, right? Let's go with number six, please. Six and seven, I believe, right? Oh, no, yeah, number six only. Number six. Enjoy scalability and flexibility. Seasonal fluctuations are common for manufacturers, so uh, ability to scale warehousing space, labor and transportation can save money and enable stress-free transition. And if you're trying to expand into a new market, the flexibility of 3PL makes growth are uh, seamless. All right. Seamless. Seamless means without problem. Invisible. You don't see any problems, right? Seamless cannot. Seamless is a word used in sewing. Es una palabra usada en costura. Seamless quiere decir que no se ve la costura. Seamless. Seam es costura. Seamless que no se ve la costura. In this context, it's not talking about clothes. In this context, me. Seamless means that you don't see any problem. You won't, you won't have to worry about that because you don't see it. They, there won't be problems, right? Enjoy scalability and flexibility, right? So listen, you were seeing in the Amazon uh, video, if there is a problem with your package, they let you know. They let the customer know. They tell the customer there is going to be a delay or there has been an issue. There has been an issue with your package. So if the customer wants to uh, escalate the problem or they want to cancel the order or anything they are not contacting you they are not contacting the seller they are contacting amazon third-party logistics so they provide that service for you you don't have to fight with the customers or fix problems for your customers they do it for you okay 
Let's go with number seven and number eight, please. Teacher, uh, improve quality. Outsourcing to uh, 3PL means you have a partner rooted in efficient, efficient, efficiency. Efficiency. So, e efficiency. Okay. Uh, so, you, so you can expect to improve performance at multiple levels, such as fewer customer complaints, improve order accuracy, Low, lower inventory levels and great ability rates and enhance enhance enhance, enhance security mm -hmm. uh, from new security re, uh, regulation to best practice for improving security policies and procedures three pls have the experience to manage all phases uh, of supply chain security. All right. Pronunciation there would be here availability. Availability. Uh -huh. Availability. Yes. Yeah. The security policies and procedures. Security policies and procedures. Uh -huh. Policies and procedures are like the rules of the company, right? <laughs> like that. So, number seven good reason to hire a 3PL, improving quality, right? Third party logistics, because they have so much money, <laughs> they can invest in quality, not just in quality, but in keep improving their quality. They do better and better. They make their performance, they improve it, right? So it means fewer customer complaints. Complaints, they have. Menos que has the cleaner. Fewer customer complaints, right? And then enhance security, same reason. They have a supply chain to follow. They have steps and safety. So it's included there. Let's read number nine and number 10. Eduardo? Okay. <clears throat> It grow and change by by leveraging 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 and outsiders existing technology infrastructure and people you can grow quickly without the reach of country capital investment investments <clears throat> leverage expertise. A significant role for any 3PLs is to stay up to date on industry best practices and developments in logistics, <clears throat> in logistics, manufacturing and supporting technology, including the latest supply chain and inventory control software. <clears throat> By leveraging a 3PLs expertise or regulation and local markets, you gain a partner that provides a competitive advantage while allowing you to focus on, co on core competence. competencies. Competencies. All right. So speed, growth, and change, that is the same. It goes hand in hand with, an, with the improving quality, right? And the last part, leverage expertise. Leverage is the same thing as take advantage. Aprovechar. Advantage, leverage, right? And then it says that you can take advantage of the expertise, right? If one day you want to grow your business really, really big, you can pay attention to the expertise that they have. You can learn from their expertise, their practices, their development, their researches. And then one day you can replicate it in your own company, right? So it's, it's a win-win situation. Let's call it, they get the money from you you get all of those things from them, all right? So now we know what a 3PL is, right? A third party logistics. Based on that, we're gonna go to the student's manual here. And I'm gonna share the screen with you guys. Okay. And we're gonna answer this question, right? 
Why do companies use 3PL, 3PLs, third-party logistics? We're gonna answer that in a few months, okay? But first, we have put the per work, okay? Per work, it says, number the steps to outsource a third-party logistics provider, okay? So we're gonna read the first one. We have develop a detailed plan for the 3PL selection process, evaluate, interview, and select, review the checklist of 3PL capabilities, do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. So what would be the first step, in your opinion, before you hire a 3PL? From that list, what do you consider is the first step? Develop a detailed plan for the three PL selection, maybe. Person. That that makes sense to me. Um, but before you do a detailed plan, you need one thing. It's all it's there. By the way, esta palabra outsource es subcontratar. Para si no la tenían, outsource subcontratar, right? So before I develop a plan, what do I need to do? I'm not going to create a plan only because I have the idea right now. What happened before for me to create a plan? Maybe evaluate, interview, and select. Mm, that, no, it's that Do part. An internal assessment of your current and future needs. Correct. Exactly. That's the first step. Review, check. Evaluate everything that you have right now, currently. Current is actual, right? Do an internal assessment of your, an evaluation. An assessment is an evaluation. So do an internal evaluation of your actual, current, and future needs, right? What is happening in your company? What needs to be fixed? What is giving you problems? What do you need to improve, right? So the first, the first step, do an assessment, evaluate what you have, right? Number two, you can develop a detailed plan for the selection process, right? How are you going to do? What things do you want from the 3PL? What characteristics the company needs to have for you to hire them, right? Then number three would be review the checklist, right? The checklist is like this plan. You created the plan, now review the plan, right? Review the plan, is this good? Is Do I have the money? Do I have the time? What am I needing or missing, right? And the last step, in my opinion, evaluate. Once you have the plan, you have a checklist, you can evaluate, interview the different companies that you have the option, right? And then you can select one, right? There are many companies that do 3PL services, okay? So now you're going to be matching the terms related to the logistics to their meanings on your right, okay? So we have five different ones. So we're gonna need five volunteers. Each person is going to read the box on the left, on the right, and you're going to select which is the one that matches, okay? So we need five volunteers to read this and then match. Raise your hand so I can see you, please. Okay, Maida, you're gonna help us with number one. Read it, please. A, fun a function that allow companies which really to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. Mm -hmm. What do you think is that? A function that allows companies which rely and confiar, que confían and remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. Inversion, investment, inversion. Okay. 
Minimize the risk. The second, private fleet management or mm. transportation. Okay. Well, it says a function. So it's not a service, it's a function of the service. Five. Yeah, correct. I think it's number five. A small, um, oh, sorry, I think it's number four, actually. Cargo insurance. Okay. I think it's number four, cargo insurance. A function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risk. Insurance, to me, has to do with the risk, right? Let's go with number two. Do we have a volunteer? Jonathan, please, number two. Number two, uh, envelop, enveloped or package shipment that weigh less than 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. Libras. Uh, libras. Could be a small package service. Yes. You see, in big three party logistics companies, they have liner services, which is the boats, the maritime, La Via Maritima Maritime, they call it liner. Then they have cargo freight, like normal freight, and they have less than in a container, which is small package services, right? Very good. Number three, Jose, please. Provides protection against all risk of, of physical loss or damage to freight. Number three, freight. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Claim insurance, right? This is specifically for the freight, right? Not so much for all the cargo. Okay. Yeah. And then number four, please. We need a volunteer to read number four. Cesar, please. Okay. Uh, legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial okay. compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Mm, is number two, private flats management. Uh -huh. Private. Private. Private, mm -hmm. private, yeah. private flat flat management. Correct. And okay. then number five, please. Me too? Yeah, please. please. Okay. The physical process of transportation, commodities, and merchandise, goods, and cargo it's number one transportation yes that that's very obvious for you. <laughs> transportation <laughs> transporting yes <laughs> um um let me check oh yeah we have the next one the next exercise for the next exercise you are going to go into the breakout rooms okay so you're gonna go into the breakout rooms and you're gonna discuss this exercise. It says working groups discuss the following advantages of hiring a free PL provider. Letter A, this is just an example, right? These are some of the advantages. Third party logistics, improve customer satisfaction with accurate fulfillment, on time delivery, etc. Three PLs reduce current costs, and you hear that. And number three, they reduce the risk. Right. So what I want you to do is that in the groups, you're going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages that you consider of hiring a 3PL service. Right. Yes, they have 10 advantages. That's really good. But it's not all perfect. It's not all glory. They, there are disadvantages like in everything in life. Right. There is good and bad. So you're going to go into the breakout rooms and you're going to discuss with your partners what you consider are the advantages or disadvantages. You can invent any any business, right? And you're going to discuss with your group, okay, let's imagine that we sell shoes. Our company, our business is a shoes business. We, we sell shoes, all type of shoes. So we're going to discuss and we're growing. We're growing the business, right? So we're discussing paying a third party logistics to do everything because we don't want to spend too much money, for example. So 
I'm having a meeting with my team, with my classmates, and they are my team in the in the shoes company, and we're discussing what are the advantages and the advantages. For example, I consider team that we should hire them because they have they help us to reduce the current cost. Right now it's very expensive, blah, blah, blah. And the other person, well, miss, I think, yes, it helps to reduce cost, but the problem is that we don't know if there will be future extra charges for those services, et cetera, right? So make it a conversation. In this conversation, your group is discussing advantages and disadvantages of hiring a 3PL service for your business, whatever it is. You can decide what your business is. Invent and make it a conversation, okay? So every person in the group has to participate because it's gonna be a conversation in which you mention um, advantages and disadvantages. You're, you're examining, you're studying the possibility for your business that you're going to invent, right? I'm gonna give you guys 15 minutes for this conversation. The rooms are open so you can go in right now. Okay. Salas están abiertas, pueden ingresar y comenzar a crear su conversación. Discussing advantages and disadvantages of 3PL services. Let's go into the rooms, please. Los que están pendientes, ingresemos a la sala, por favor. Sus compañeros los están esperando. José Bernardo, Kenia, Juan, lo están esperando. Al que pueda ingresar en la sala, por favor. Emerson, lo están esperando en la sala 4.
All right, we're all back to the session. We're gonna begin listening to your conversations. We're gonna start with room number two. Here we have Eduardo Magaña and Jorge Antonio. Okay, ready for your conversation? Hello. My partner will go uh, will go to talk about the ad, but partner, are you there? <laughs> Jorge, you there? Yes, you. <laughs> okay. To start, my friend, you are you have a, a lot of knowledge about the ad, so you can talk about it. It was a conversation. Did you create a conversation? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, nice. Hello. Hey, Lord. <clears throat> Hello, uh, can you tell me what is the best uh, ad that I would like to, to arise on, uh, arrive a, a product uh, in El Salvador? Yes, uh, for my experience, uh, well, uh, I talk about the, um, I work, I work when a, when a company for logistics, uh, the name is QuickBox. And it's, for me, it's very well. They have a very good logistic for the boy and or uh, deliver the different uh, articles and the different and the different platforms. The the delivery is very quickly, and the price or or the the cost is is um, relatively is is lower. <clears throat> okay, it's really interesting because I really appreciate it. Uh, how what is the best way to, I said, I want to outsourcing this app. Tell me what is the feature that, or what is the characteristic that I need to, to get to start outsourcing this company? Yes, this company is similar to EPL. Yeah. Uh, for example, the, um, um, they, uh, they can buy for for you or only uh, you can use the the services of tra of transportation for example if you if you buy uh, any product in a different platform and um whatever for example aliexpress and you can buy you can uh, direct for address in the united states for this company and uh, they move to El Salvador in um, 15 or 20 days. The cost, for example, in this case is the $4 per pound for the different articles, for the different um, uh, clothes, uh, many articles if, 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 you, if you can buy in the different platform. And also they can buy for you. For example, if you talk uh, with their if you do you want um uh i don't know a shoes and uh, you choose uh, what is the do the shoes do you want tell with their and they bought for you and they deliver from the different uh, place uh, in the world and deliver for your house in a uh, low cost in the um, relative a little time. <clears throat> Thank you so much for that information. I really appreciate it. Poi taken, and I will try to look this ad and I can use, I will try to use. Okay, of course. <laughs> nice job. You didn't necessarily discuss the disadvantages, but it was fine because it was a very detailed and informative <laughs> conversation from her. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, we're gonna listen to room number three right now. We have Jose Romero, Mauricio, and Wendy. Go ahead, please. 
means we haven't created a conversation. So we were discussing about the three PLs in, All right. the, in the world. And we were talking also about the 10 tips that you provide. So we don't have enough time for create a conversation. However, mm -hmm. we want to share with you our opinion. So my partner, my partner will be explaining the letter A, letter B, and letter C according to the 10 tips that you provide. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Maricela, it's your turn. Okay. Your turn. Um, Wendy. Oh, okay. Wendy. <laughs> um, activity while partner while decided following. Uh, according to exploring of the company, the companies are the following characteristic um in provide quality. Um, I sourcing. GPLs. I have partner. You have partner rotate in efficiencies, so you can expand to pro performance. Um, multiple levels. Um, so as fewer customer complaint, improve it or the or the accuracy our inventory and in level is ready a valid rate. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, for letter B, reduce current cost. We associate that one with reduce cost and save money. The, the first step that you provide us. And we were talking about this in the main group. So my partner will be explaining the letter C and the associated with the tips that you provide. All right. Okay. Uh, in literacy, GPL, reduce risk, uh, environment, environment improvement is important. Many companies in El Salvador, in El Salvador are concerned about the environment which is why they have to optimize, optimize. Optimize. optimize the distribution of the product. It reduces the emission, the emission reduce uh, the risk, the contamin contamination, I think. Okay, reduce contamination. Contamination, yeah. All okay. right. Uh, only this issue. All right, they, they are actually pretty well associated. So very good developing the exercise, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Jose, Wendy, and Modi. All right, and now to, we're going to listen to room number four. And in here, no, sorry, room number five. We have Nelly and Tessa. Hello. Hi. Thank I discuss about uh advantage and the first and we think that maybe for a company is um better. Uh, I have uh, the only duty and and about the um, give a quality control and uh, producing good in good condition for the customer and maybe just uh hire. To a third company for uh, do the transportation and in a, a little bit, we think that um, 
hard uh, 3PL it reduced the cost for the company because they didn't have to uh, hire, hire other people and have a building for have everything in the product and uh, the material for do um, all the process and let us see in the in the part of the like any issues in environment uh, within that yes um higher three fields reduce the risk for the company because they didn't have to uh, hire employees for the company mm -hmm. and uh, it's everything. All right, very good. Especially the last part about the union because they already have everything established in or established and ordered. It's pretty difficult for them to get a union. So it's a better option, definitely, in that case, reducing that risk. All right. Very good, guys. Thanks to everyone who participated. Because of the time, we're going to stop here. I'll... But I'm going to take attendance. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Seven. <laughs> I thought because Nelly said that's everything. <laughs> I, I started speaking, but I was in mute and for that oh. reason. In the oh, next I'm sorry. Week. <laughs> yeah, we can leave it. We can leave it for tomorrow. We still have Thursday okay. and Friday. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna take attendance, guys. Please be ready to stay here or present. Okay. Um, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Okay, Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Here, 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 present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Thank you. Fatima. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Thank you. Um, Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, Thank you, Jose Cesar Lemus. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Jose Herrera. Present. Thank you, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you, Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. All right, guys, that's going to be it Present for teacher. tonight. Thank you. Um, ¿Quién se quedó ayer? Fue Carla, ¿verdad? Yes. Ken, okay, thank you. Ken, ¿Quién se se puede quedar para asesoría? Los demás. You can go to sleep, have a good night, or have dinner. <laughs> and I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. See you tomorrow at night. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. dreams, everyone. <laughs> good night. Teacher. Yes? Can I... Um stay in the face to face for the next week because right now I am in Guatemala and I'm just working. Yes, my... not a, yes, no problem, Kenya. You can do it next week. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, all right. Take care.